Hello guys, and happy Pride Month! Yes, it is Pride Month. And this is a very, very exciting time for everyone, especially anyone who's part of the LGBT community, because this is a time to celebrate, time to be proud of who we are and be open, I guess, and all that jazz. <laughs> so with it being Pride Month, I wanted to make a Pride-themed video, so we are going to be searching the World Wide Web to find all things that are LGBT Pride related. And I thought I'll take you along for the journey. So, here we go. Okay, so I've found a page which is for LGBT memes, and I thought that's probably a decent place to start, so let's have a look. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. That's quite sweet. I like that it's Dr. Zeus as well. I love Dr. Zeus. But yeah, that is essentially really true. The people who have a problem with whoever you are are the ones who should have no purpose in your life at all. And then the people who you care most about, more often than not, don't mind. Because they know, they know the true you, in a sense. So like the people who are your family and your friends, they know who you are and they know what you've gone through. It's the strangers who have no idea who you are, who are the ones who have a problem. Well, at least that's my experience of it. <laughs> Stop using anti-transgender language. Okay, so instead of thank you, say, here is $20. Uh, instead of saying, hey, can you grab the door? Say, do you want me to send you money? Instead of have a good day at work, say, here's $40. Instead of how was your day, have $20. Instead of good morning, say, let me give you money. <laughs> that is... <laughs> I wish people would do that to me. I would love for people to just randomly give me money, but that's not how the world works. So that it reminds me of South Park. They did this sketch where, oh, so it's the Yowie episode, where a lot of the Asian children were drawing Yowie art of Craig and Tweak as a gay couple, and then it sort of the rumors spread around, and then everyone just wanted to give them money because they were gay. <laughs> I think I saw that. I mean, why did nobody give me any money when I came out? After telling my therapist I'm finally ready to come out and she asked me what kind of girl I want to be. Me. I never thought I'd get this far. <laughs> yeah. Like, when I came out as trans I never thought of what guy I wanted to be. I never really thought of what I wanted to necessarily look like or what theme I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I never really thought of like what I would be like as a guy. I just knew that I needed to be one. <laughs> It was one of those things that, for me, I just needed to start the change. I didn't really care where I went after that. I didn't really mind where my body... Well, I didn't really mind necessarily what my body looked like. I didn't care if I would be a big guy or a small guy or a hairy guy or a twinky guy. I don't know. I didn't really care. I just needed to feel... I just needed my body to change to match a guy. It didn't really matter what type of guy. <laughs> I never thought of that, I just knew, because the thing is when you start your transition and when you come out, you kind of just think about the first important steps you need to do, because after that, once you've started the transition, you can then make some changes yourself, so you can buy the clothes you want to wear, you can go to the gym if that's what you want to do, or you can cut your hair the way you want to, and you can sort of tweak your style to who you are, but you just... For me, I just focus on the big things. It's just like, I need to start on testosterone. I need to start surgeries. I need to get this done. And it didn't really matter any like stuff around it because I can change those things. I just needed the key big parts to change. I would like to read to you what the Jesus... The, the Jesus, okay. I would like to read to you what the Jesus said about homosexuality. I'd like to but he never said anything about it. Yeah, that is that is something as well. And this is one of the things of like, I've kind of read the Bible. Like I haven't read it all in one go. I've read sections of it. I have studied religion at school and all of those stuff. So I'm not saying I'm an expert because I'm an atheist and this isn't exactly that I follow the Christian faith or anything, but there isn't really anything about homosexuality in there. And then the one section that does say thou shall not lie with men, or however it's worded, has actually been changed because the original writing was thou shall not sleep with boys. Now, in my mind, that would mean don't sleep with children, which I agree, you really shouldn't be sleeping with children. 
But it didn't specify that you could sleep like at the time when it was originally written and all of this stuff, it didn't say that you can't sleep with a consenting adult who happens to be of the same gender. There was nothing like that. It was changed later on to fit societal views, I guess, but not the actual religious views or whatever it was. So that's an interesting thing that I heard. And I'd also like to point out that I'm pretty sure Jesus never had a girlfriend. Like at all. I don't think it was ever mentioned. I mean, granted, he didn't say he had a boyfriend either, but still, it's one of those things if you could question it. And this is where a lot of Christians have issues with me, is that I will ask questions like that and see things in my interpretation, which isn't the same as their interpretation. And, yeah, I got quite a bit of backlash from that, hence why I am atheist. <laughs> It's alive! Speak, my child. This is a fucking slur. Oh, fuck, I forgot to give you a brain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that is true, and I completely agree with this, because this is not a slur at all. It's um, an adjective, I think it's called. I'm not that great with English, as you can probably tell. But it's essentially a word to describe something. It's a describing word. So it's exa on the exact same level as saying fat or tall, short, slim, skinny, all of those types of words. It's just something that you would use to describe somebody. That's all it is. And it's only there to differentiate between somebody who is cisgendered and transgendered. And in my mind, I'm thinking, if you've got such a problem with people being called cisgender, then don't have a problem with people being called trans and don't have spaces where you exclude people for being trans or trans is an issue, because then we won't refer to you as cis. So if you let trans people in your bathrooms, if you let trans people in your sports, if you let trans people be the people that they are, then you won't need to differentiate between cis people at all. So, yeah, the ball's in your court, transphobes. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad at being gay. Okay. <laughs> I, like, I like this. Obviously, it's um, it's the bisexual flag in case... Because, I mean, there's a lot of flags. It's hard to identify which one's which. But this is the bisexual flag, which means that they... Are attracted to both genders or multiple genders as it were so this is one of the things that's like it can be quite difficult because I think bisexuality is dependent on the person as well so it can be that they're attracted to both genders or they're attracted to multiple genders similar with pansexual because that's also with multiple genders as well so I think um, the pansexual bisexual is sort of like person interpretive or person specific it depends on what they prefer to be called and how they feel most comfortable um, but yeah, I like this because obviously they, they're they not straight and they're not gay, so they're, they're kind of sucky at both. Or <laughs> There's no brain in here. That's odd. Let me read the notes. Ah, no wonder. There's nothing in there. He thinks sis is a slur. <laughs> Yay. I'll tell you what, I like the art in that comic. That is brilliant. <laughs> I know it's the same kind of joke that we had earlier, but yeah. It's such a good joke because people are stupid. <laughs> Gay people being represented is forcing sexuality, asking schoolboys if they have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's something else that's really quite interesting as well. It's like a lot of people are doing the whole, especially with gay people now being represented a little bit more in media, they're doing, oh, you're influencing our kids. And it's just like, well, no, because for the longest time I can remember it being you going up to like five-year-olds and asking if they're in a relationship with the opposite gender. I mean, that's kind of encouraging sexuality a lot more, surely? The fact that you're kind of encouraging them to start dating at five and then forcing that sort of relationship as in this is where you should go. But yeah, having a gay couple hold hands on TV, yes, that's what's ruining kids' sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbians eat what? <laughs> oh, that's a cat. He's a great photo as well. I love it, and I feel like that can be used for so much. <laughs> what if we cuddle in the blaha bit? I tell you what, I kind of want a blaha now, just because it's like there's a lot of LGBT connotations with it. I don't even know how this started. It's just an IKEA shark, but so far, like every connection I have to watching YouTubers talk about LGBT so if Blaha somehow comes into it and I'm like, you know what, I feel like I need one now because I'm LGBT. Friend. 
agender and non-binary are the same thing? Me. No, they're not. Friend. How do you know they're not just two ways of saying the same thing? Me. Bing. <laughs> yeah, that's something as well. There's a lot of times where somebody will come up and they'll comment something. So in my case, it would be they'll comment something about transgender. Go, oh, you can always tell when someone's transgender or transgenders are just seeking attention or many of the many things that I've heard. And I'll just sort of sit there and be like, no, 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 no. And I'll be like, well, how do you know? So like, because I'm trans, that's how I know. <laughs> I'm kind of part of that community and it's it's really frustrating that people think that they know more about something that they're not part of. Me trying to have a normal conversation. Can you stop changing my gender for five minutes? <laughs> I don't have this problem because um, I'm a trans man. I'm I have no connections really to my feminine side at all. I don't feel feminine really in any way. Um, so my gender doesn't change anymore. I kind of just came out as trans and then that's been it. But I can understand that obviously some people, um, they feel connections to both and it can fluctuate on different days and they can have different feelings and all of this. And it could very, could very well be a sort of frustrating experience. Um, if they do feel connections to multiple genders and that they do fluctuate on daily or hourly basis or anything like that, um, I would feel annoyed. <laughs> Got called gay at school for liking books. Uh, big girl's blouse by a teacher for not liking rugby. A uh, coward, oh they're not in quotations, but a coward for not wanting a fight. Mocked as a girl for wearing a yellow jacket. Told to be a man when nervous the pressure boys feels to be unfeeling more on this intense resist. So yeah, it's um, it's kind of harsh, some of the things that you hear at school. Um, like I had a lot of experiences where I was mostly told, girls don't do this, was kind of like the key one. Um, so like I wanted to play rugby, girls don't play rugby. <laughs> I was friends with a load of boys when I first started out at school and it's just like, no, girls don't girls don't play Jurassic Park, girls don't like those kind of sports and yeah there were so many things that I was essentially mocked at by teachers and students because I didn't do stereotypically girly things um, and I feel like it was the same for guys as well, guys were sort of steered to do exactly a certain type of thing and girls were steered to do a certain type of thing and that's not how the world should be. So like girls can fix things and boys can cry and do flower arrangements and girls can ride in diggers it's it, do, it shouldn't really matter what you are it should be a case of what are you passionate about not not what does society demand you should do i think i'm gonna have to find one more because um the people outside are starting to get very noisy so <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to wrap this up so let's find one more really good one and we'll finish there with this little video and see where we go and for the last image, we will do BOOM! Me after watching a Disney movie. <laughs> so, I, I feel I can kind of relate to that. I feel, I don't know, I'm definitely a lot happier when I watch a Disney movie. I definitely sing a lot more Disney songs when I watch a Disney movie. And it, it's just really nice to watch, <laughs> to watch a Disney movie. But yes, I thought I will finish on this one because this is a nice sort of little... <laughs> Little meme, I love that he just takes his temperature and it's just like, oh, you're gay now. But, oh, gay dear. Such a problem. <laughs> I'm only joking, it's not a problem to be gay at all. So yes, those were some LGBT memes, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're enjoying Pride Month as well. So, I definitely enjoy Pride Month. It's lovely weather, it's bright and sunny, and it's such a wonderful time to be me, and you, and everyone. <laughs> so yes, Keep watching this channel because at some point I will upload a video from when me and Megan went to Pride, so that we've got that to look forward to. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!